Nursing students at UT Tyler are using new simulation labs to help them gain real world experience. KLTV 7's Alex Weiser spoke with some of those students and a professor about how this difference it will make for them. Hi, my name is Kim and I'm here to your nurse today. Nursing students with UT Tyler showed off and tested their new simulation labs. From a routine checkup to someone on the brink of death, these new labs allow many different scenarios to be played out. The equipment itself it has like sensors on their lights to have like blue lips. It, the eyes themselves dilate. You can hear the crackles in their lungs. You can hear their heart beat. It's really as close as, to a person as we can get. While the sim labs don't have real people in them, they do have real people controlling the mannequins and talking to them like a real person. Yes, I've been getting them quite often this year. The hands-on experience and gradual increase in training intensity gives the students the chance to work with industrial-level equipment. The variation in situations keeps the students on their toes and ready for anything. You need to know what to look for as far as small details go. You can know a piece of equipment, but that doesn't mean you know everything about it. And if you need to find something in particular about a patient, you want to have that experience instead of fumbling through it and looking through it when, a, when an emergency pops up. Getting used to the simulation takes a little bit, says clinical instructor Levada Fields, but she says she has seen the upper level students show a big change in fluidity and confidence as time has gone on. Just having that experience moving and growing through the simulation, by the time they're at the end of all these simulations, they have seen the most common scenarios that are going to happen at the hospital. They have been asked those really hard questions that if you're not prepared for them, you don't know what to say. Alex Weister, KLTV 7 News. The labs were added as a part of the 47,000 square foot expansion to the nursing building that was completed earlier this year. We'll be right back.